depth that you have and then the speed that this offense runs at. Is there, is there a set number you have in mind of how many guys you look at as to get out on the field, or is it just as much as you need? Uh, it's just about finding a good, healthy rotation. You know, we, you know, we, we did a study from coaches at Clemson. Uh, you know, about 50 to 55 plays is about max for a kid. Anything after that, you know, you're just kind of getting diminishing returns on it. Um, so it's you know it's about finding a good healthy rotation. Uh, you know, I'd love to be able to rotate nine guys. Um, that way you know everybody's staying fresh and everybody's staying healthy. Uh, there'll be some game plan specific stuff for some guys, but uh, you know I'm really looking forward to. It. We got a lot of really good competition in my room. Uh, competition makes everybody better, makes me better. I got to bring my A game every day, uh, and I got a good group of guys. I got a really good group of kids, and uh, that's really that's what I'm uh, really looking forward to. Coach, you're, you're obviously someone who had a close relationship with Mike Woods now for for a long time. As far as is how you handle kind of the news of him getting in trouble, his his I guess arrest. What? How do you go about handling that and making him better for the future? I guess. I mean, it's a learning experience for all of us. Mike's a great kid. You know, that's pretty much all. That's all I'm gonna say about that. He's a, he's an absolutely wonderful kid. Um, uh, you know, Cortland Step. The, one of the persons, one of the people I would love to have Cortland Step around growing up is Mike Woods, and that's hopefully that tells everybody what they need to know about Mike. Yeah, I mean, and it's, it's you know, and I've, I've, La Michael and I have had many, many conversations over the spring and over the summer. You know, with La Michael, it's all about consistency. Um, he's got to be more consistent. He's got to make more plays. Uh, and he's had a great summer. He's had a great spring. Had a great summer. And I, I'm, he's a kid that it is evident to him. It means a lot to him. He's worked his tail off. I'm so excited to get out there and see what he's going to be able to do this this, this fall. I think he's going to have a big fall. Yeah, he already kind of looked the part. Like he <laughs> looks like he's, he doesn't look like a receiver. Yeah. And then Coach uh, True says he's dropped his body by like 7%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has. He looks incredible. I mean, if you look at his before and afters, what that kid looks like now, it's, he's made an incredible, incredible stride with his body. Uh, you know, I, I tell him all the time, I said, I left uh, the 16 at SMU that was 6'4", 220, and I came here in my 16 here, 6'4", 218. So, uh, and he's an absolutely wonderful kid. I mean, I can't say enough about how hard he works, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm uh, excited to see him, you know, have growth on the football field this fall. How's Derek? He's doing well. He's, he's finally healthy and ready to roll. And, that's what I'm excited about as well. You know, when I got here, that was one of the guys that everybody was talking about uh, heavily was Jared, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do being being healthy and being full speed. Now, I know you, you put something on Twitter about what's not definitely football related, but it's baseball players and the funny embarrassing tweets from five, seven years ago or whatever. What's your message to, to your guys about that? And do you have situations where you see stuff and you're like, hey, buddy, maybe we shouldn't be putting that out there? You know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's when we get these guys, it's all about – it's all about growing them off the field, and part of that is, you know, when you, you, you know, you get so where you're watching something on TV, you're watching a basketball game, and your team's losing, or you know, you see it a lot in the finals. Kids just throw stuff out there, and you're like, hey man, let's just take a deep breath. And if, and what I tell my guys, hey, if you have to think about, man, maybe I should, this might cause a little bit of drama, and you probably don't need to post it. But it's, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's on us as coaches to educate these kids, uh, and that's what Coach Morris will do throughout the throughout fall camp. Man, we'll have different things on educating these kids with off the field stuff, uh, Twitter being one of them, Snapchat, you know, these guys just think that stuff just goes away. I'm telling you, I, I promise you, it goes somewhere. I don't know where it goes, but it goes somewhere. So, I mean, there's just been numerous instances with the NFL draft, and now that, I mean, this guy, he's one strike away from throwing a no-hitter, and the only thing anybody wants to talk is tweets from 2011, 2012. So, you just hope kids can learn from it and take a, take a deep breath, pause, and, and, you know, think before you hit, you know, tweet. That's what we try to tell our guys.